Finding love in the 21st century is about as easy as finding a needle in a haystack. Uh -huh. And with technology and endless swiping, navigating the dating scene has become even more tiring, difficult, and sometimes dangerous. Very true. And based on the acclaimed 2017 New Yorker Magazine short story by Kristen Rupinian, mm -hmm. the movie Cat Person takes a closer look at the gender divide and dissects the horrors of dating in the genre-bending thriller. I had a good time tonight. Didn't you? Yeah. So what was his go-to move? The reverse squatting cowgirl? Uh, or his cats at least cute? I never saw them. Uh-oh. Why lie about having cats? Because liking cats makes a guy seem non-threatening. Harmless. He's hiding something. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me soak it all in. Uh, so many stars here. It stars Lock and Keys Amelia Jones, mm -hmm. Successions Nicholas Braun, aka Cousin Greg. And here to tell us more is the film's director, Susanna Fogel. Welcome to New York Living. Thank you for having me. This Madam. Is this is a real treat. This film right and Madam. Just, and not okay. just because you're here wearing we your classic Reeboks. I am. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for plugging the Reeboks. I love it. She is very New York chic right now. Okay, so this movie, based on this short story, it's dark, but it's f funny at the same time? Uh, I believe it is. Okay. Yeah. Because that's yeah. how I. That's, that's the how, vibe we call it. That's how we great. experienced great. it. Okay. Good. So great. mission accomplished. Yes. Great. How? How? Bring us to the beginning. You are a very accomplished director. Do they come banging on your door and they're like, "Please, please direct this film," or were you like, "I, I need to do this"? I happened to. Well, I read the story when it came out, okay. as did most of most of the people, people in my with eyes. world. Yeah. People <laughs> with eyes. Um, New Yorkers, in particular. Um, and it was it was so talked about and so debated that the narrative around the story and why it was so explosive for people mm -hmm. became the narrative. Like, mm -hmm. not not only was it an incredible story, but then the fact that it got under people's skin in the way it did became part of the story too. Mm -hmm. So it just seems to, in, in a cat-like way, it has like many many lives ah. in the culture. Right. See what I did there? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so it's uh, it, it, you know when when Michelle Ashford, the writer, adapted it. Um, I saw that she had kind of been able to to take what was a very internal, brilliantly observant story and make it into like a film that kind of externalized this this horror that this character mm -hmm. feels and all the fears kind of take take you on this journey of 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 terror right. when she feels the terror. But right. in her life, she's still a young girl and she's funny and she's light and she's not like a final girl victim. So she and her friends are still joking their way through life, but then there's the fear that exists. And, and isn't that yeah. just a parallel it is. for all of us <laughs> on is. a day to day, but any given day, right? the, the, ups the and wave downs. of everything. There, there's a lot, there's a lot going on in the trailer. Now, I wonder, obviously the writer of the original story, we mentioned her name, I hope I don't watch it, Kristen Rupanian. Mm -hmm. came, this came out of something that she encountered herself, so how much were you kind of working with her on the original story that she experienced herself online and then put out there into the New Yorker and then your foray into this film? Um, you know, I reached out to Kristen when we were starting to put the film together um, because she really just captured something so specific in the zeitgeist and I wanted to connect with her. We're about the same age. We have like mm -hmm. some overlapping friends. And so I just wanted to make sure that like the choices I was making along the way with casting and whatever were kind of the story it, that she had seen in whatever way you can. It's always different, you know, when she, everyone's projecting their own images right, well, in their exactly. head as they're reading, and, and then yes. it's my job to like translate that and make really specific choices, but they're not gonna be exactly right, but Kristen seemed on the same page with us about what we were doing. And yeah. that's why I asked and I wonder, because I feel like I've w now watched the trailer several times. Mm -hmm. I know you, you don't wanna hear, but I, I said to our producer, <laughs> Brittany, because she watched the film last night, I said, I need you to tell me everything that happened. And so I, I kind of was, feeling so many different things and had different opinions based on the, the point that I was watching mm -hmm. and then knowing what I now know, it's, it's just, I can't even imagine having to, it, you're, I mean, what I want to say is you're so talented because <laughs> oh, thank you. you hit the nail on the head. Everything, I mean, like you said, Cousin Greg plays a good creep. He plays a good creep. What, what is also interesting about this whole film is that 
there are things that are specific, right? And you want it to be true to that. Yeah. But it's also very relatable yes. in so many ways. And I yeah. think that's why I saw it as a dark comedy because I personally have been in those dark places yeah. where I'm like, oh yeah. my God, you are not who I thought you were mm -hmm. supposed yeah. to be. But then I'll get with my homegirls and laugh. So what, Later are, you, on. what are you hoping? <laughs> and and you've, done, you've had your hand in so many wonderful films and projects. What What is the message for folks who come see this film? Because I see this as... If you are human, you watch this and you're like, oh yeah, Ooh, that's that, relatable. That, re that resonates for me. Yeah, I mean, I think what, what the story's impact on the culture showed was that people really want to talk about the gray areas around dating and sex. Like that is what they, everyone is dying to talk about it. And the people who speak up about it on Twitter are usually the most extreme in their opinions, yeah. but we all have an opinion, and it's probably more nuanced than the most extreme thing you read online. Yes. So hopefully the movie will just start conversations, and people will go with their dates or partners sure. or friends, and then like leave and go have dinner and talk about it right. and disagree about certain things. To me, that's what a good piece of art does. Right. You know, it's not right. it's not like you're like oh well that was nice and you forget it. You're right. like we have to discuss what we just yeah. saw. I only you know? go to movies, I tell people, we're going to the movie, but be prepared to yap about this, because we're course. not just going to eat our popcorn and then be like, okay, What's bye, good night. You have to. Yeah. What were your conversations with the actors when you when you did this um, to be a fly on the wall? I know. <laughs> I, 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 again, I'm so, yeah. Um, you know, they were, we talked a lot. Um, it's the kind of movie where there's so much subtext to what these two people are, are thinking, what's motivating them. So they're saying one thing, but they're thinking another. Mm -hmm. And you know, on, on Robert's side of it, Nick Braun's character, he's trying to make a connection. He's getting a lot of mixed signals from the world about how to do that, whether his his overtures are welcome or not. And so he's also kind of flailing around, e even if some of the ways that he deals with that fear are, are scary or threatening. Like, we also wanted to show that he's kind of also really confused and mm -hmm. that that's driving a lot of his behavior. Yeah. So, so talking to him about that, talking to Amelia about that, it's impossible to talk to actors about the movie without getting incredibly personal about everyone's lives. Yeah. It just leads to that. So talking about that a lot with them and and then making sure everybody was really comfortable when we were shooting so that even the most traumatizing scenes in the movie were some of the the most fun days on the set because we planned everything and there was so much like laughter and conversation that went into getting ready to shoot something that's right. really I intense to watch. I can't even imagine cuz there's just you you kind of it makes your skin crawl at times just while I'm watching the the, the clips that we're playing again yeah. and it's just like well, how do my, you get in there? It made and my skin <laughs> skin crawl, but I was also like, but this same. We're like this is this is funny, <laughs> right? This That's is funny, correct. right? Yeah, yes, it's like it's absolutely. Like, but this is yep. you're laughing. Yep. But, the, but like, isn't that like? It's like we keep That's... going back to you hit the nail on the head because I think people are going to be like. Oh, thank God, it's not it's just not me just who me. had this horrible, horrible experience. We'd also be yeah. remiss to say yeah. this film has been selected for the 2023 Sundance Film Festival. Yes, we premiered at Sundance last uh, January. Thank mazel, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That what was fantastic. that experience like? Yeah, it was wild because, you know, this was such a viral story, and everybody has, has, has had such conversation yeah. and, like, opinions about the story. Mm -hmm. And we expected the same thing with the movie. Like, everyone's going to be debating this movie in a good way. And they were. Like, people were talking about it on the bus. People were, like, debating about, you know, what, who they thought was right, who they thought was wrong, whether, whether the, the changes that we made in adapting it were, like, better or worse for the original story. Like, it just, people just want to talk about this movie in, in, on so many levels. And I hope that that leads to people seeing it and wanting that conversation. That yeah. is a win-win. Exactly. I think, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Right? yeah. I'd much rather I'd much rather get like that sort of intrigue than someone saying, "Oh yeah, it's fine. It was good. It was okay." Like, that's exactly. actually my nightmare. What are we going to spend next? years? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Oof. yeah. Oof, oof, and oof. then that's what you get. Yeah. So hopefully people will will want to debate, talk, see it twice. Exactly. Yeah. And if you do want to see it, by the way, Cat Person opens at IFC Center here in New York City on October 6th. That would be tomorrow, Lane. That is tomorrow. What it's day tomorrow. is it? It's Thank the 5th. So Look much. at that. I'll be there in my Reeboks. There Excellent. you go. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks Susanna. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, guys.